Hey there, here's a uh, quick update on this uh, text mesh pro text container object. So right now what I've got is, um, so you've got the new component, you can specify an anchor position. Uh, right now I'm using a vector 2, which defines 0 0.5, 0 0.5 means it's in the middle. Uh, I guess 0, 0 right now is up here. I'm not sure if we want 0, 0 to be down here uh, and 1, 1 be there or 0, 0 and 1, 1. So I, I don't know, just let me know. Um, but right now you can specify where this anchor is going to be. I call it a pivot, but it's going to be an anchor. Most likely this will become an enum where you pick top left, top, top right, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can specify the dimensions of this container and then the margins themselves. In terms of the behavior, um, obviously right now it's centered. So if I change it here, um, we are changing the location of the transform because I guess we grabbed the bottom handle and we're telling it to remain at the center. Uh, same thing if I move here, we stay centered. Um, next, if I change the anchor positions, for example, zero, zero, so we're in the top left. Um, if I resize here, obviously the anchor position doesn't move uh, and so on and so forth. So that all works fine. In terms of behavior, where I need some feedback is, let me reset the size. Um, I guess the question is whether or not we want to keep this um, transform stable or not moving. So I guess if I grab this handle here and I said I want the pivot to be in the center of the object, it makes sense that the pivot uh, changes position. The question is, I guess I could add a modifier, like if you hold down shift, and if you were to hold down shift, then both the left and the right side would uh, basically change, and this would result in this transform staying in the middle and not moving. But then uh, you're back to grabbing one side to do this. I guess I do expect, if I had text in here and I did this, I guess I would expect this to affect the word wrapping. I wouldn't expect the text that's on the left here to come in. So with the modifier, if this side was to move at the same time, then the text would move in at the same time. So I don't know, just give me some feedback on that part. I'm just not sure how to handle it yet. Uh, but other than that, the component's pretty good. I still have to fix the stuff when we switch to perspective. Uh, I'm using Unity's built-in transforms and free move handles, but if I switch to uh, perspective view and I drag around, you can see that eventually the mouse cursor sort of gets out of sync with where I'm dragging. It's a minor detail. I'll figure out a way to fix it, but I still need to handle that. The other thing is right now, uh, if you want to move the object, I guess it's a behavior question. Uh, right now I'm hard-coded the stuff, so if you click outside it never deselects the object, but the idea would be if you click inside the rectangle it would select the object, click outside would deselect it, click anywhere inside this box, I guess we could have it translate the object around and move it around, or maybe we don't want to do that, we want to force the user to move the transform as they've always done in Unity. So I don't know, that's another behavior question. So that's it. So just let me know what you think so I can uh, add the other stuff. Uh, thanks.